FDNY Ray Pfeiffer spent decades as a firefighter, then eight months at the World Trade Center site. He was eventually diagnosed with a 9-11 related cancer, and he spent the last years of his life ensuring care for those affected by 9-11 illnesses. Now, a year after his death, a plaque hangs in his firehouse, just blocks from our studios here on the Upper West Side, and it recognizes his ultimate sacrifice. O'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. A full firehouse showing up for a first responder who lived to help other first responders. Everybody knew who Ray Pfeiffer was. Ray Pfeiffer did not die on 9-11, but everyone at Engine 40 Ladder 35 who was on the job that day did. Some say Ray's purpose was different. 177 members of this department now have been buried uh, from 9-11 illnesses, in addition to the 343 we lost on that day. Now a plaque memorializes his work. Decades as a firefighter, then working to recover those lost. Despite his illness, he would travel to D.C. and walk the halls of Congress, demanding that our country keep its promise to care for those who never wavered on their oaths on September 11th. When Ray got sick, he realized there would be others with 9-11 related illnesses. Wheelchair bound, he took his new battle to the halls of Congress, fighting for health coverage. He led the charge for the Zadroga Act, which ensures 75,000 people suffering from 9-11 exposure get health coverage through 2090. Your husband made the ultimate sacrifice for us, for this, this department, for this city, and for this country, and we will forever be grateful for that. His family, moved by the comments, also spoke about the new foundation that continues his legacy. It will fund quality of life needs for those who gave everything. It's an honor that they're continuing his legacy and raising money with the foundation. They're working so hard and helping all the other 9-11 responders. The foundation's been amazing. They've been giving uh, equipment to um, sick firefighters or EMTs, are, and they've been great with the family and everything. The foundation is run by unpaid first responders. All the money raised is a tribute to never forget. He was a hero to this city as well, and a champion to this entire fire department. Ray's legacy and his memory will never be forgotten. Ray Pfeiffer spent, of course, his career at that firehouse, which is so close to our studios, just blocks away. According to the FDNY World Trade Center Health Program, there are over 2,000 active and retired firefighters currently battling 9-11 cancers, and thousands have been diagnosed with other illnesses. The Zadroga Act also covers civilians, anyone in need of care, and even beyond um, the fire department, police, EMS, even civilians who were in the area of 9-11 that day. Tomorrow will be the first golf tournament for the Ray Pfeiffer Foundation, which of course, again, is run 100% by unpaid mm -hmm. first responders to help other first responders. Yeah. And more than 2,000 firefighters retired and active are Currently. now suffering mm -hmm. from cancers and other illnesses. Yes, and there's a lot connected. There's a lot in need. Not only is the insurance covered um, with mm -hmm. the Zajoka Act, but beyond that, there are other quality of life issues that mm -hmm. need to be addressed for mm -hmm. a lot of these first responders sure, and families. It's still so chilling to see them covered in all that uh, debris. Yep, never right. forget. Everything they breathed for Can't weeks forget. and weeks. That's true. God bless. Thank you, Amy. You got Thanks. it.